It is the tripping that teaches the child to walk. Yeah. And that's why the gospel is so amazing in, in, in giving grace. Uh, in the book, I talk about the, how you juxtapose uh, Christ, God choosing Aaron to be a high priest. And at, at the moment of total failure, mm. I mean, while Moses is up on the mountain uh, getting a word from God, Aaron is down there leading the people into God knows what. When Moses comes back, they're naked and dancing around the calf. Mm. And yet uh, God made him the high priest. Mm. While Aaron is leading them into idolatry, God is stitching a garment for him to be the only man out of all of Israel that can go in and out of the holies of holies. Wow. Now we know that God is omniscient, so God was not surprised. And Moses didn't know what Aaron was doing, but God did. But God's strategy, I believe, in using Aaron in that way is that God needed somebody who could hear the sins of the people and not judge them. Mm. Because they had fallen to a point that judgment is, is not a part of your nature after you've experienced mercy yourself. Mm. And so Aaron, who probably was the worst guy in the camp, ends up being the premier person who is able to go into the holies of holies. It is a picture of Christ who did not commit sin, but became sin for us. Wow. That we might be the righteousness of God mm. so that we can come boldly to the throne of grace and discuss whatever we need to discuss. Because one, he was tempted in all points like as we are. And secondly, though he didn't commit murder, he became murder. Mm. He didn't commit adultery, he became adultery. And when God the Father looked at all of that sin on the cross, he was smitten of God hmm. so that we could be liberated by God. Wow.